What is up and is going on guys, Simpsy here and welcome back to another episode of my Third Age Total War Mordor campaign. So let's get into it, shall we? We're currently besieging Mistrand with the Witch King, uh, who else? The Blind and the Horseman. <laughs> and uh, we're going to take Mistrand this turn. Durak has some Dragon Slayers, that's probably the best unit in there, Catapults of course and Ballista. Um, also, uh, we have a full stack here, protecting the Ruinish settlement. There's the, the faction there, the Prince. We have just under half a stack here. Um, I would like to increase that garrison, along with Tirith Throne. Once uh, Dawn Death gets here, we're going to split them up between the two. We're not going to push any further north until we've taken out um, Ruin. So it looks like there was two stacks, wasn't there? But anyway, it looks like the Sylvan Elves have marched, uh, so the Elves of Lorien have marched out to to deal with them. Um, we are saving up a little bit of money. we got a lot of money coming in, which is good to see. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, yes, we're going to train up, save up for the Troll Cages. That's We'll, we'll buy one at uh, Minas Morgul. And we, oh, we might as well start preparation for building a Troll Cage. We're going to get in. We won't have enough, so I won't do that. Okay, so let's do the battle at Mistrand. Um, I do have my diplomat over here at Matram, um, Gundrik. So, this battle should be interesting. Our first battle against the dwarves, can't wait. Let's do it. It looks like, um, I don't really know why, but Rune managed to send some forces out to deal with the um, the dwarven reinforcements. But uh, it's, good to be, it's good to see. Ah, oh, Gimli. <laughs> uh, it's going to be great. So guys, um, I really can't wait. Uh, we're pushing into Rune now, and we're going to be fighting against the dwarves. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. We're making a lot of money. I would like to get uh, some Oligai into the field, so that's why I'm spending so much money on my fucking troll cages. But uh, let's carve up some dwarven scum. Okay, so. Rams up. I don't think we're really going to need another one. We'll put archers back. Um, did everyone get in position? It's looking good so far. Okay, so everyone else... Oh, there are more archers in there. I didn't see that. Put everyone here. God. <laughs> God, we got some troops. Awesome. Archers, we're not going to use them in this battle. There's not many dwarves in there, to be quite honest. Oh, I'm not playing with the Witch King. Oh, I... No, oh, shit, I didn't realise that. My bad. Oh, I guess it's something a little bit different. I was thinking, yeah, why... I thought this provisional army looked... I thought this army looked relatively... Well, shit, compared to the, uh... The Witch Kings. My bad. But, hey, I guess it's given a little bit different perspective of other generals in my army, so... There's this Nazgul regiment. Maybe I should put the Witch King on the defense then, because he's my faction leader. I don't want him to die. And also, um, he has a crazy amount of um, trolls and stuff, and I don't really want to use all them in a siege, if you can see over there. I'd rather use um, this army. Okay, so what are the dwarves put up on the walls here? Dragon Slayers. You would think you would want to put them right there instead of the the matlock, but they've marched out. Drop the ram and get in there. He's all great as a uh, gonna get the dragon slayers. You might be able to run them tired, but oh, can we get in there though? We're in. We're in the city. Okay. We're going to push pretty much everyone in now. Actually, we might put raiders in first. So, which we don't have any. It's all spearmen. <laughs> Go on, you lot. Straight for the town square. Hmm. On the left side here, my troops have not engaged anyone. I guess I might hold this here, just for the time being, until more troops come. Oh, we killed a dragon slayer. I guess that's good. <laughs> Is 
We might as well just like stop them not going. You might as well just go straight through the gateway. It's gonna be so much quicker. Does everyone push up on the catapult unit? Should be all over soon for the dwarves. But we haven't come across. Oh, we haven't cross, come across any big dwarvish armies, so it's going to be interesting. Catapults. Yeah, if they hit like right in the town square, there's going to be a lot of casual. Uh, right at the uh, the gateway, there's going to be a lot of casualties for me. So let's just hope we can get there. Well, it happens. I think we have. Rip them to pieces. Okay. Move these guys that are on the walls here to go help with the dragon slayers on the walls. Attack them. It's going to be a bloody affair for the dwarves. But that's what you get for taking my allies' homeland. How's the sorcerer going? Looks like they marched out as well. Fighting valiantly as always the dwarves. How many are in these dragon slayers? 78. Jesus. But all my spearmen is pretty <laughs> well. It's, they're in now. There's no way that they can hold them off. Dwarven warriors, even. We've lost four percent of their twenty-six. So it's going to be very interesting to see the outcome of this war. The dwarves have the best heavy units in the game, and we don't have uh, particularly um, that very good archers and, and cavalry units. So we, we can't really tire them out. But at least we've got the catapults knocked out. The general's bodyguard is moving in now. So we're going to start moving, just like moving troops in here. Because I don't really know why they're not pushing up. Who else was there? But okay, there's two. There we go. The more we can get into the square, the better. Did we lose our gateway? Come on, kill them. Okay, now we're pushing in. We can kill their general. Um, they haven't actually gone through here yet. But they did sally out, so that's why they're probably not battering it. They're shaken. Kill the Dwarven Nobles. Oh. <laughs> That's funny as. Like, you'll probably be able to beat a Dwarf with a massive spear. <laughs> because you, like, you just run. You'd be able to run quicker than him. <laughs> okay. Um, we probably should get this unit. For some reason, they don't seem to be attacking. Um, except for these guys seem to be... Losing against the dragon slayers pretty well, but I guess that's good keeping them preoccupied. They are sending some reinforcements from the side. Oh no, yeah, that's oh no, it's the ballista unit just chilling there. <laughs> We've captured the town square. The countdown has started, and the gateways have been recaptured. Where is this general? I can't actually see him. But I'll give it to them. The dwarves aren't gonna let this uh, take their home, uh, take their new lands. <laughs> it's not their homeland. It's like the opposite um, plot of the Hobbit. <laughs> the dwarves have taken a homeland and they're fighting for it. <laughs> Mind you, there isn't a dragon, but there is a um, a Nazgul. <laughs> 
those foul beasts or whatever they're called to be exact. I can't remember what, you, what they're called. We're going to start speeding it up here. Uh, we've lost 9% of the 69 and uh, once we've taken this settlement I might actually try at my luck again at another invasion. Obviously the Battle of Mistrand was actually denied which I, I don't really know why. Um, but hey, we should be the top pretty much with the Dark Lord. I don't know why. Yeah, it just doesn't make sense why they wouldn't accept. I've, I think I've done two it Crusades. I did one at Dol Amroth and one at Edoras. And I've won them both. So that's pretty good odds. And I both requested them, I think. But we've taken the town square. I think. Where's the Where's the last general? Oh, there he is. <laughs> I was like, where the hell is he? Because I, I couldn't seem to see him in that little corner pile. But um, he's going to get rattled with spears. We've still got half my army in reserve, which is fantastic. So we've only lost 10%. Yeah, those dragon slayers really are holding us off. And we didn't have to deploy the Witch King, which is good. So guys, uh, make sure to leave a like on this video to support my channel. I'd really much appreciate it. I do put a lot of effort into these videos, and a simple like really does go a long way. So what, what have we got here? We've got some Dwarven Matlock. I thought they were... They sound like gunmen to me. But um, they're kind of like armoured pickaxemen. And they're about to be nothing <laughs> in a second. The Dwarven Raiders have uh, finished that unit off at the gateway, and they're going for a charge. And look at that. Straight away going down. We've only got a minute. We still haven't killed the Dwarven General, so... Maybe we... I have no, like, foul ilk against uh, the Dwarves. So I might actually ransom some of these uh, Generals. But this second army has come in uh, with the Sorcerer. So um, there's definitely no way they're going to retake the town square from there. And more notifications for the buildings. <laughs> the, the gateway captured. How are they doing up on the wall? I think that's... Yeah... 20 or so seconds, and the day will be ours. Maybe that little uh, Nazgul screech will uh, boost up the morale. But yeah, like the dwarves are, are really going to hold on to us. Like, we don't really have overall that good quality units. Um, it's probably, probably because of me. But uh, we deployed 4,750 with the horsemen. He lost 834 troops, and the Sorcerer lost 571. See, just look at those odds. We ended up losing nearly 15,000 troops compared to their 500, simply because of how good, uh, how uh, good like quality the units are. So we're going to lose so many troops in the battle against the Dwarves. That's a nice picture. Aragon, obviously, Legos. Gambling, I think that is. Theoden. But we've taken Mistrand, and that's one uh, one step closer. Should I sack? No. One step closer. What? Did it say Rune lost their capital? Uh, it's one step closer to Erebor and uh, Dale. So I'm not going to sack uh, most of these settlements, because they do have a real strong... Oh, wow. 44% Dwarven still. Yikes. Oh, Assassin. Assassin and a Spy. Um, we can't really retrain that many units. But we're going to rally up. And I think the rest of the episode, we're really going to start micromanaging. Um, ooh, we've got one more unit in there we can put in. So we'll put in them, I guess. We'll move the Witch King to Mistran. I don't think the Dwarves are going to uh, attack us anytime soon. So hang on, I want to move... Who's the better general? The Horseman. So we're going to move... These four orc raiders there. We're going to put down the taxes of Misran to encourage more f followers of Sauron back. We do have a full stack in this fort. Hmm. I'm trying to think whether or not to. M oh, we've still got half a stack there, don't we? I'll leave a small garrison there. I don't think. That they're going to lose that settlement. I would be surprised if they did. The tyrant's going to be here soon. 
Um, do we really need to keep that many troops in this settlement? Probably not. Yeah. So we're going to, oh, once we get some movement points, we're saving up money for some more um, troll buildings, the, pre the prerequisite for all our guy. And, uh, oh yeah, I forgot to mention as well, um, I think it was a while ago when Arnor got reforged, but the icon has changed. Except or we attack, they demand 1,000. Do you really think I am going to... <laughs> Why would I be scared of you? What, are you going to attack the Black Gate? Oh, shit, I didn't think of that. <laughs> they actually have a, they have a fair few settlements. I'm actually, like, surrounded at uh, Dog Will Do. I might actually... Shit, I didn't think of that. They might... We might actually lose the Black Gate. <laughs> And especially when most of, uh, well, I could say the entirety of my forces are preoccupied. Yeah, I didn't think of that. I forgot that there's a, yeah, Malag, and then there's Olberg. So we do have a lot of money now, so we might as well um, start the troll cages and whatnot. And especially since we're building them at the Black Gate, we don't want to lose them straight away. So I'm going to actually recruit a garrison. I'm going to recruit some dismounted, uh, actually rather recruits. Some general, uh, sort of, orc raiders. But there are a couple of dwarven armies here. Balmir. Gundrik. So we're going to actually besiege. Oh, we'll, we'll think about besieging Mithrand. Uh, Kugrov. Not to that. Oh, invasion rejected. God damn it. Oh, well, we're going to besiege this settlement regardless. And we do have an ass we do have assassins in Mistran now. So we have a spy. We're going to move this spy north. Okay, they've taken back Kelp here. That's good. Bor. They still have royal men. We're going to move my diplomat south then as a as a spy as well. We'll see how big the garrison is there. And we do have an assassin, so we might as well get the assassin onto it. 21%. 5%. Not very good odds to start off with, eh? We'll try it. Miss target. Okay. Yeah, well, settings, they haven't... They we, Oh, Rune still has this settlement. They have this one. Um, I thought that would be one of their last settlements, so I'm going to move uh, Deer to Mistrand. And we'll put... who's better? Deer, yeah. So we're going to put the Orc Raiders into Deer's army. He's only got one lot of archers, so I probably should make that two. And we might as well... Well, I guess we could send some assistance over there. But now we should send this to... Old... Avon. Uh, we're going to move this full stack into Tirith Thorin. Um, I, hmm. I was thinking about sending troops back. I don't really want to. We can recruit Orc Raiders here. I think we'll be fine. We'll recruit some more Orc Raiders just to be uh, on the safe side of things. I'm trying to think, should I push this army east or north? Because that's a pretty big castle. Even though it's got a lot of Northmen following. Hmm. Because I don't really want to lose it. Well, once I put this army, I mean, that makes it... How many slots are left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many have we got here? Five. So we need two more units we could push in there. If we put in two more Black Nemorians, we'll put them, yeah. We'll put two Black Nemorians into there. I think that'll be fine. And then we'll leave a small garrison here with just a couple of Orc Raiders and Spearmen. And then we'll push this army east. So that's half a stack going over there, but there'll be a full stack there. And Ren is quite a competent commander. Grain Exchange. Do we have trade rights with the Sylvan Elves? We do. Um, who else do we border with we don't have trade rights with? Uh, obviously, we're at war with Dale and Dwarves, so I don't want to get trade rights with them. Elves of Lorien. Yeah, so 
So. I already have trade watch the Elves of Lorien. And the Sylvan Elves. Yeah, so I can't get trade rights with anyone else if I wanted to. There might actually be a decent army there. There would have been a decent army at Matram if the uh, the dwarves actually rallied up. Yeah, it's like nearly half a stack to the north there. I might actually have a look at how big the dwarven armies are, like... Um, they have any troops they have in Dale combined. But once we've done that, we're going to end the episode because we're coming up to the 20th minute mark. Probably should have ended it then now I think about it. But no, I wanted to show you um, their military before we do this turn. Capital lost. Eriador, okay. Um, Gorbag. Quite a good commander for an orc. But he doesn't have very good loyalty. Where were those... Oh, Baragdu, the Orc Raiders were. Well, there's actually archers there, so we might as well move them into the Black Gate. We are making a lot more money now, so we might as well recruit some sort of troll units. Probably, I, I feel like I need to put more money into the economy. Um, and maybe into some better access. Can we, what can we, I would like to build a mining network at Minas Tirith. Oh, okay. Hmm. Yeah, Rohan is terribly undefended, isn't it? If the Elves of Warrior attacked like Wolberg. I guess we can move an army from the Black Cake quickly enough if we wanted to. But still, we're going to move my diplomat down south uh, to see this. Okay, there's half a stack there, no general. Yeah, they've actually got quite a decent army here. But we're going to quickly check the stats, and then we are going to end the episode. So we go military, and we'll go all. And I did... Wow, I took a massive dip, but I'm slowly getting it back up. Um, so we'll go... We'll go... Na oh, fuck. We'll go custom. So we'll go the Dale, and we'll go Dwarves. So the Dwarves have taken a little bit of a hit. But, um, or I think it's probably even if they add another 20,000. Yeah, we probably might just have the advantage over them. But, guys, we're going to end the episode here. Thank you very much for watching. If you watched all the way through, we're going to play the Battle of Matram in the next. And I'm sure we've got a couple more skirmishes to go against the dwarves in room. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. And go and have a fantastic rest of your day. Goodbye.